Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I plan a menu and organize my shopping list. I do this once a week and I mentioned that I was doing this in my everyday cleaning routine video and I was surprised to receive so many requests to film this video next, so I hope you guys enjoy it. The first thing I like to do is just take a mental inventory and go over all the food that I currently have in my fridge and in my pantries. I like to know what staples I still have on hand, like cereal and oats and orange juice. I have a lot of quinoa, you, you can see, and some red beans. So this just kind of helps me know what I have. So I try to plan on using those things in my meal planning. And ever since the weather has gotten a little bit cooler, a cup of tea is never far away from where I'm working and um, it just helps any kind of housework be a little bit more enjoyable for me. I'm not an extreme couponer, but if I do get some flyers in the mail, I will go through them and see if there's anything that I usually use and just clip those. Uh, so this time around, the only one I found was for some almond milk that I always get, so I did clip that to save for later. Now that I'm a stay-at-home mom, um, we obviously don't have my income, so I do try to shop on a budget. We used to spend about $100 a week for groceries, and now we've cut it down to probably $60 to $70. And one way I do that is by shopping the ads. This one is from Safeway, and I'll just go through and see what is a great deal. And circled anything with a highlighter just to give me further inspiration when I'm meal planning. For example, the chicken breast was super cheap at Safeway this week so I made sure to circle that and I actually didn't find anything else in the ad oddly enough <laughs> this time but the chicken breast was such a good price that I'll probably go just to get that at some point this week. There were other good deals but everything else was stuff that I already had on hand. I also got a coupon booklet from Target that week and I only save the ones that are things I will actually use and I just throw the rest away. And then I'll also try to get inspired by the coupons when I'm menu planning. And I don't claim to be a pro at any of this. I'm, I feel like I'm still figuring things out as a stay-at-home mom um, and I'm not too organized, but so far what I'm doing has kind of worked for me and obviously we're saving quite a bit more money than we used to, so I must be doing something right. <laughs> So in planning my menu, this is really old school, but I write it out on a piece of paper. I start by writing my categories, dinner and sides, then down below lunches and snacks, breakfasts and desserts because we all need dessert. Um, and then I usually pick out five different dinners because there's always leftovers and sometimes we end up eating out or going to someone else's house. So five meals a week seems to be pretty good for our family. So I just brainstorm our favorites or use things that we have on hand. For example, chili is the first thing I thought of because we had kidney beans and tomato sauce on hand and also I had a coupon to buy diced tomatoes at Target. Um, and then I also brainstorm sides as well. So I'll be making cornbread with the chili and we'll want toppings like sour cream and avocado. So I'll write all those things down in the sides category. And another favorite is tomato soup and toasted cheese, which I'll just buy the tomato soup with the Target coupon. Um, also, we are super into spaghetti squash right now, and I recently tried making spaghetti squash lasagna, which was so delicious, Marcus loved it. Um, so I'm gonna be doing it again this week. And if I ever get stuck without inspiration, which happens a lot when you're planning so many meals, um, one thing I like to do is look into my Betty Crocker cookbooks. I love vintage cookbooks and I want to do a video on my collection, but my two favorite ones are this one, Dinner for Two. I love the Pennywise dinner sections for um, inexpensive meal ideas, so I'll take a look through those. And uh, all the recipes, I've made so many recipes from this book and they're all really yummy. And another favorite is just the regular Betty Crocker cookbook. This one's from the 1960s. And I really love it because it just uses um, just regular ingredients. Nothing too fancy and nothing too expensive. And, um, and this also has a section where it gives you some thrifty meal planning ideas. So I just like to go through that and get some inspiration on, you know, dishes using cheap cuts of meats and inexpensive veggies and stuff like that. 
So that's one way I also just cut some money out of our grocery budget every week. The last way I get meal inspiration is by browsing my Pinterest board. If you guys want to follow me, I'll have the link to my Pinterest down below. But I love to look for clean eating recipes. A lot of times I get inspired to make up my own recipes. And so this week I just really wanted to make something with squash. Having to do something like this every week, sometimes you just run out of inspiration. So Pinterest is one way I love to keep my menu planning fresh and interesting, and I just don't get in a rut serving the same meals over and over and over again. Um, so from Pinterest I got two ideas, spaghetti squash lasagna and honey garlic chicken. And then I always try to plan on a little bit more fancy of a meal, just in case we want to invite people over um, and I can make a larger amount. because. That ha seems to happen at least once a week. So I just decided to do chicken cordon bleu because the chicken breast was only $1.49 a pound at Safeway. And then I always try to pair my meals with a carb of some sort and a veggie. Whether the carb is mashed potatoes and gravy, cornbread, brown rice, um, and then I usually just write down seasonal veggies and pick whatever is on sale. And for lunches, um, a lot of the times we just have some stuff on hand, um, but I like to write down what I want to make just so I have an idea. So I like to do salads, um, sweet potato egg in a hole is one thing I love <laughs> that I learned how to make on Pinterest. Um, we have some mac and cheese in the pantry, um, and always we love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and leftovers. Snacks are mostly for Marcus, although I do have some some snacks every once in a while since I'm pregnant, but I do write down a few ideas and I try to switch these up every week so we don't have the same thing every single week, but yeah, having a toddler snacks are super important. Um, for desserts, I just write down a couple things. We don't have dessert every night, but pumpkins and apples just sounded really like festive and fall-like to me, so I wrote something down and I think what I'm gonna do is an apple crisp and pumpkin cookies. For breakfast, I just write down the things that we have and the things that I feel like having for breakfast that week. We have oatmeal and malt meal, but I wanted to get some yogurt and make my own granola. And I usually pick about four or five things per category so that we have some variety throughout the week. And now that I have my menu planning done for the week, I'm going to start organizing my shopping list. Throughout the week, I will be recording down staples that we are out of and then organize them on my list. I do go to Costco and Target, but I love going to Trader Joe's even though it's adding a third store just because they have the best prices on organic foods. And I only go to Safeway if there are super killer deals like there was this week. And so Trader Joe's, I like to get most of my produce, um, but there are certain things I like to get at Costco like bananas and just the big spring salad mix, stuff like that, that we will go through throughout the week because most of the stuff at Costco is just too big for our family. And then for the remainder of the things, I just go to Target because they also have better deals. Safeway I find is usually more expensive unless I shop the ads and, and usually the ads make it worth it. And then at this time I will also go through the recipes mentally and looking through the recipe books just to make sure I'm getting all the ingredients I'll be needing to make each dinner. So that's my shopping list organized. Um, I do go to three different stores, but it just ends up saving us a lot of money. And um, most of these stores are right, really close to each other, so it's not that big of a deal to go to multiple stores. The last way and my favorite way to save money is through the app Ibotta. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically a reverse couponing app. So you can scroll through each store you're going to and then see if they have any coupons out and you select those and when you get home with your receipt, you just scan the item and take a picture of your receipt and you get cash back, which is amazing. Um, I'll have more information on that in the description box below if you guys are interested, but this really is my favorite app. They'll even start you out with a $10 credit once you redeem your first coupon, um, which is really cool. So if you guys want to do that, the link is down below. They will either give you gift cards or cash through PayPal or Venmo 
and it's just an amazing thing. As you can see, I have made so much money over probably like the last year that I've been using Ibotta. It's a really great app. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys got some helpful tips. Like I said, I feel like I'm not that organized, um, but this is just what works for us and saving money is really important. So I do put in a little bit extra work for that. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.